Working with high-speed serial data signals presents many challenges. You need tools with enough performance to handle all the subtleties of your system. For example, it's important to make sure the oscilloscope you're using has enough bandwidth to show you the true shape of your signals. Fast edges of high-speed serial data have more frequency components than simple sine waves. For example, let's take a look at a 5 gigahertz signal captured on a pair of oscilloscopes. Here in this example, we're looking at an Agilent DSA 90,000 series scope set at 13 gigahertz. In this example, the waveform looks like a well-behaved sine wave. Now for comparison purposes, let's see how the same signal looks, but this time on a Tektronix DSA 70,000 series scope set at 13 gigahertz. Again, the signal we're looking at here looks like a well-behaved sine wave. It's important to note that 13 gigahertz is the maximum bandwidth of the Agilent scope, but the DSA 70,000 series has up to 20 gigahertz of available bandwidth. With the Tektronix scope now set to 16 gigahertz, we can see that the signal is not a pure sine wave at all, but one with significant distortion on it. Now let's look at this signal in the frequency domain to understand what the source of this distortion is. Here we have a Tektronix 70,000 series oscilloscope, still set at 16 gigahertz, and we're looking at the FFT of that 5 gigahertz signal. As you can see, there's a very strong third harmonic content sitting out there at 15 gigahertz. This is responsible for that distorted appearance we saw earlier. The point being, without the DSA 70,000's extra bandwidth set up to capture those important frequency components, this signal will not show its true shape to you. To illustrate this point, let's turn the bandwidth of the DSA 70,000 series back down to 13 gigahertz. As you can see on the FFT, the third harmonic content at 15 gigahertz has been suppressed because it exists beyond the roll-off of a scope set at 13 gigahertz bandwidth. Let's look at that same signal again on the Agilent DSA 90,000 oscilloscope, which has a maximum bandwidth of 13 gigahertz. The point being, if you're working with an oscilloscope that has a maximum of only 13 gigahertz bandwidth, you will miss key frequency components that contribute to understanding the true nature of your signals. You'll see on the FFT here that the 15 gigahertz third harmonic sits out beyond the roll-off of their scope, therefore reducing the Agilent scope's ability to display it. Now let's take a look at the true shape of that signal we've been sending into these two oscilloscopes. To do that, we'll look at the same signal on a sampling oscilloscope set at 30 gigahertz of bandwidth, which provides more than enough headroom to view the components of that signal. The signal we've been looking at is not a sine wave, but actually a 5 gigahertz digital clock signal from a 10 gigabit per second serial data stream. At these high speeds, digital signals aren't always what they seem, especially if your tools can't handle all the important components of the signal or design that you're evaluating. When working with high-speed serial signals, it's important to make sure you have the most performance available in the instrument set that you are buying. For more information on the DSA 70,000 series oscilloscope, go to tektronics.com scopes.